Welcome to the Scratch Name Animation Lesson Tutorial. I am going to walk you through how to animate your name using Scratch. When you click on the link to the Scratch program, it will bring you here. The first thing you should do is watch the tutorial video at the bottom. I am going to show you how to add letters and backgrounds. After you have watched the tutorial, you can close out. There are several other tutorials here that show you how to do some different things like change the color of your letter, make your letter spin, um, make it grow. So those are some other tutorials that you can watch, but I'm going to close out of this for now. And the first thing we're going to do is add a background. And to do that, you're going to click this button back here in the bottom right corner. And there's tons of backgrounds for you to choose from. So I am going to choose, let's see, let's do a beach theme. Okay, so now we have our beach and we can actually get rid of the scratch sprite by clicking on the trash can because we are going to add our own letters. So you're gonna click choose a sprite down here and you will go to letters all the way at the end. And there are several different styles for you to choose from. So I'm going to add a letter and you can kind of drag it to where you want it on the screen. And then I will add, I'm just going to add in my name here. So this part's pretty simple to do. Just adding in your name and then we can rearrange them. Okay. So I'm just going to arrange this how I want it on here. All right, and I have my name. So right now all the letters are kind of the same. So I'm going to start with the N and to change anything with the letters, make sure you're clicked down here on the letter that you want to change. And to make your sprites or your letters change, you want to make sure you go to events and you want to start with one of the codes that kind of have this little hump on it. I usually start with the flag. So this is basically your, your start to your web page, kind of. So when you click the flag, whatever directions you give it will start once you click the flag. Or if you wanted to do the space bar, whenever I click the space bar, this will happen. So for the letter N, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go to looks, which is purple, and I'm going to choose um, change color effect. And you can play around with this number here. I'm going to do five. If there's ever a code um, that you no longer need, you can just drag it back over and it'll get rid of it. So for the N, I change the color effect by five when the flag is clicked. So if I click the flag, you'll notice my end changed color. Um, and then you can do some different things for each one. So for the eye, maybe I also want it to change when I click the flag and maybe I want to add a sound. So I can go and I can um, play a sound. And sounds, so right now it only offers you the pop sound. If you go under the sounds tab, you can search some different sounds. Um, so like maybe we wanted to play a splash. Okay, so we can add a splash to our, our sounds here and we can go back to code and we can change that to say splash. So now when I do it, my N changed to blue and the splash sound played on the I. And you can add multiple things so um, I'm going to also have the eye spin. If you put turn 15 degrees, it's only going to turn once. Um, but you can go down to control and you can put it on a forever loop. So that continues to happen. So for example, when I click the flag, my eye is also now spinning. So those are just some different things that you can do. You can mess around with it. Um, there's two other tutorials that you can watch um, for your different letters to change them. 
Um, but that's kind of how you do it. Good luck.